We continue our special report on the 2013 NGA Supermarket Guru Consumer Panel Survey, just released last week at the NGA Annual Convention. For the complete survey report, just go to nationalgrocers.org. Our survey data indicates how quickly shoppers might switch stores, simply for the right size of store. We asked, if a store in your preferred size opened nearby and price quality was about the same as where you shop now, would you switch? More than one quarter of the shopping public said they'd definitely switch, and nearly half would at least try the new store. Segments that lead the definite switch numbers are key. The heaviest grocery spenders, 28.2%, millennials aged 25 to 39 years of age, and the largest households of five or more shoppers. So what should independents emphasize to align deeply with consumers this year? Focus on healthy, fresh, and local expertise. And assortments tell people eat smarter, cooking insights to raise consumer confidence in the kitchen, easy store layouts, and speedy checkouts. That's what our survey found. Since 6 in 10 Americans concede that they could eat a lot or somewhat healthier, it's time to underscore the importance of daily produce and perimeter departments. A 70.9% majority says that they eat more fruits and vegetables to ensure a healthy diet. It's a good thing. 90% call high quality and fruit and vegetables the top feature in a primary supermarket. And the same amount rate their main grocer excellent or good on this measurement. Now, this is the highest ever rating in our survey's history. For nearly three out of four consumers, nutritional and health information is very or somewhat important to their choice of a food store. The availability of nutritionists and dietitians could build momentum for supermarkets in this emerging area. New questions in this year's survey explore the connection between consumers, grocers, and these food health professionals. Notably, nutritionists and dietitians trail only physicians and the internet as the most trusted information sources. That's more than traditional media, rating systems on packages, and other choices. If consumers could access them for individual help, they'd mostly seek general guidance on foods that give good nutritional value for the dollar. Best foods for my specific health condition and label reading, including ingredients and nutritional claims. Some would even pay for services that are specifically tied to individual wellness goals, to weight loss, and the best and worst foods for specific health conditions. For more on the role of the retail dietitian, check out RetailDietitians.com. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.